outside Buda Elementary School. It's not easy, but I'll tell you it's fun. Hey, CISD pre-K and kindergarten students were working hard to earn a donut party this Saturday. We like to incentivize them with sugar, so. <laughs> the coaches are the parents and their children the same age as those involved in last month's deadly bus crash of Tom Green Elementary students. 33-year-old University of Texas at Austin graduate student Ryan Wallace and 5-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya were killed. Dozens more were injured. It hurts to see someone so young, like, gone. You know, you didn't get to, they didn't get, to, the parents didn't get to see their, their, their son grow up. As T-ball practice was happening, across the field, the Hayes CISD Board of Trustees approved the $4.7 million purchase of 30 new school buses and allocated $400,000 towards retrofitting a set of nine older buses with seatbelts. We have people that are still reeling, they're still hurting from this, and they want to see action taking place. Those votes followed a special meeting last week where the district unanimously approved a new plan to ensure every bus in the district is equipped with seat belts. The bus involved in the crash was an older model that wasn't required by state law to have seat belts. We hope that by being able to take this fast action that we're demonstrating it illustrates that the entire community is with them. The district says by this Wednesday, all regular route buses will have seat belts. In addition, the vote ensures all spare buses will also eventually have seat belts, as those can be called on any time for last minute trips or if there are maintenance issues. It could take up to a year for the district to get the new buses from the manufacturer. Our challenge is going to be the time it takes to get the new bus. That's actually why we're retrofitting some. For the parents outside, they're glad the district is moving swiftly. I hope it doesn't just stop at, you know, running up a bill and making sure it passes, right? I, you know, we want to see these buses on the road as well. When it comes to their children, all they want is peace of mind. I know if my kids are safe, I'm not worried about the money I spend as long as, you know, he, get, he comes home. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.